It was Getting to Know You Day for the 113th Congress as new senators and reps arrived in the lame duck session officially began. But as Nancy Pelosi introduced the new crop of House Democrats, speculation mounted on whether she'll continue on as their leader in the House. She's apparently made a decision, but wasn't quite ready to announce it this afternoon. I'll see you right here, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. While I love you all very dearly, I thought maybe I would talk to my own caucus before I shared that information with you. Ed O'Keefe now joins us from the Capitol where he's been following this uh, first day of the lame duck Congress. Uh, how you doing, Ed? Doing well, Brooke. Good to see you. On the Senate side, still some question of who will be wearing the Democratic uniform. Angus King, one is an independent uh, in Maine. And there was the suspicion, the expectation that he would caucus with the Democrats, but we still haven't heard an answer from him. Is no news good news for Republicans? Well, we'll see. He made it clear on Tuesday that he will make up his mind by Wednesday, because Wednesday is the day that senators have to vote for majority leader. Uh, and that's a, you know, it's a long-standing tradition that essentially means that members of their parties vote for their leader to be leader. So he, he basically has said he hopes to make a decision uh, in time for that Wednesday morning vote and make it clear at that point what he plans to do. But he made it clear as well that just because he's picking sides for the sake of picking a leader and then getting committee assignments, that doesn't mean he's going to be a reliable party line vote. And in fact, he's expected to be one of just a small handful of centrists now who, especially on economic issues, might go either way, just depending on how they feel about the issue. Uh, I don't know if you've had a chance to see it, but uh, the feature film Lincoln is in theaters now. talks about the passage of the 13th Amendment during a lame duck session of Congress. I anticipate we don't expect anything that momentous to happen in the next 16 days. No, we won't have any amendments to the Constitution during the lame duck, but we will have certainly a lot of discussion about the so-called fiscal cliff, about averting those automatic tax increases and spending cuts that are set to take effect at the beginning of January. Uh, a lot of concern up here about how that would affect the economy, and it's believed that there will be some kind of a deal, but probably not until closer to Christmas. A lot of direction will be taken from whatever happens in that meeting Friday between the president and congressional leaders at the White House. That's seen as the first good possibility that they will sit there and perhaps begin to talk about potential details of a new plan. Uh, last thing, and I feel like almost a fool even bringing up the word, but is there a sense of bipartisanship in this new Congress, or is it the same old song and dance? Well, it's Tuesday. It's basically the, you know, it's basically Congress's Monday, and uh, so far, at least, uh, things seem to be going well, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. I think, again, that meeting on Friday especially will be a good signal of how well the sides are going to play, well, uh, play with each other, uh, whether they're going to be able to cut some kind of agreement. The other issue to watch, probably, for a sign of bipartisanship is immigration reform. There's a lot of eagerness among Democrats to do it because they know that Hispanics helped elect them not only to Congress but also back into the White House. And Republicans now understand that after losing Hispanics by 44 points, Last Tuesday, they've got to find a way to draw back Hispanic support, and the way to do that is to somehow come to an agreement on immigration reform in the coming year. So if conversations on that continue through the end of the year during the lame duck, and then it gets picked up next year, both parties probably eager to show that they work together on that one. Okay, Ed, we'll be looking for your reporting uh, all week on the Two Chambers blog. Thanks for making some time for us. Good to see you.